Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Celia and I know it's been so long, like almost four months. Well, it's been four months I haven't posted a video. Wow, that's a long time. Um, well, you know, life, that thing named life, it took over and I was going through some stuff. But now I'm okay and I'm so sorry. And I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers that I've gained for the past four months. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, I'm gonna try and do more videos from now on. So you guys can leave any suggestion in the comment bar. Um, but yeah, today I decided to do my, my contour and highlighting routine. Um, this is what I do, not saying this is how it's done, but this is what I do and this is what works for me, this is how I like to do it. I'm gonna try to explain what I'm doing as best as I can. Um, it's a bit weird talking to the camera, but hopefully I get the hang of it by continuing. You know, practice make perfect, so maybe later on I'll be way better at this and not getting shy, but yeah. So I hope you guys find this highlighting and contouring video helpful in some sort of way. So if you want to see how I highlight and contour, then keep watching. Thanks guys. Bye. So I already did my eyebrows off camera. Now I'm going to prime and I'm going to use the Reno Stay Matte Primer. Next I'm going to color correct and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in orange. I normally use this by itself, but recently I've been mixing it with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 30. Um, I don't know why, I just tried it and then I like it and then I just start doing it. But I'm going to color correct um, all my dark marks, my acne scars. So pretty much what this does is cancel all the dark marks and dark circles and so on even under your eyes if you have like dark circles and you're just going alone with the concealer sometimes it comes off a bit ashy like gray so if you try color correcting before you um, apply your concealer or foundation it should not look ashy see I cancel out all my dark marks, acne scars. So I'm looking a bit cray cray right now. Next I'm going to put on my foundation and I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Foundation. Just going to put a little bit on my on the back of my hands and I'm going to use my fingers to place this all over. Then I'm using my Beauty Blender to blend that out. Let's get to the front part, the highlighting. So right now my face looks so flat, like all the dimension from my face is gone. So that's how highlighting and contouring comes in, where I'm going to bring back that dimension and light to my face. This is not one color. The center of her face is normally lighter than the perimeter. So that's where highlighting and contouring comes in. So I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey as my highlighter. When highlighting, you use a, um, a concealer or foundation that is two to, shade, two to three shades lighter than your complexion. I wouldn't suggest anything more than that. Um, and you place this where the light hits naturally, so underneath your eyes, the bridge of your nose, your forehead, and your chin.
face look much brighter and you know it just look more yeah and I'm still not finished now I'm going to contour and there's different techniques for different face shape Now like my face is I would say oval so I don't need that much contouring so I pretty much like to define my cheekbones and my nose I don't do my jawline or my forehead because I don't think I have a big forehead and um, my face is well, I feel like my face is already structured, so I'm going to place this on my jawline. I'm using black opal stick. So I make the fishy face, find the hollows of my cheek, and then I draw them. My reflection. And I blend up. Words. Then I'm using the same sponge that I use with my foundation to blend so you cannot see the line of demarcation like I said. Everything should just look as one when you're finished. I'm just gonna do my nose. And for your nose, the smaller you make the line, the smaller your nose will appear to be. I know some people like bring it to that like the dent on your nose. I don't I think whenever I do it, it makes my nose appear um bigger. So what I do, I put the line on top of that bend so my nose appear smaller. I'm just gonna go back in my sponge and blend underneath my eyes. And then I like to use a loose powder, and this is the black opal invisible block powder to set my face before I be. Now I'm going to set my concealer and I'm using the Sasha Buttercup banana powder or Sasha banana powder, whichever, I don't know the name. I got this sample from my friend so I'm just trying it out. Before I used to use my Ben Nine powder but I think I prefer the Sasha Buttercup powder right now. So I'm going to set wherever I put my concealer and I'm pressing it into my skin. So I'm going to clean up my contour line and I'm going to just put a little bit there just to make my contour look sharper like a razor. So now that's on. I personally don't like to keep the powder on my jawline so long so I'm going to brush that off. And if I'm going to do eyeshadow, then this is when I'll do my eyeshadow and let the powder sit under my eyes for any fallout. I'm going to do my eyes and come back and finish up. So now my eyes are finished and I removed the, um, the powder from underneath my eyes. So now I'm just going to set my face again with the... MAC Mineral uh, I'm gonna set my face using the MAC Mineralize Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Oh crap, can't open Then I'm gonna set my contour using MAC Select Sheer Press Powder in NW50 
Then using my Morphe blush palette, I'm gonna use this blush. And for my highlighter, I'm gonna use L. For my highlighter, I'm gonna use Champagne Pop by Becca with Jaclyn Hill. Just gonna put a little bit on the brush. And then I'm gonna spray some Fix Plus to it. Give it about for a minute. Then I'm gonna add this to the eye points of my cheekbone. And then for my nose, I normally do an exclamation mark on my nose. So I get a little bit and I put some right in the middle right here. And then I put just that ball at the tip of my nose. I'm gonna spray some Fix Plus. dry so this is the finished look I hope you guys like it if so please comment like and don't forget to subscribe if you're not and yeah I'll see you the next one bye guys mm -hmm.